alarming news. Romania has jumped into the second position ahead of the USA, and they did it basically with the fine performance here of Christina Bontosh. We watched Christina Bontosh perform on the floor, and we will go down now to our Wendy Hilliard on the floor. Wendy? Thank you, Greg. The American team is always having to watch out for those technical faults or deductions. It could have been Dominique Dawes without the flag, but in this case, it's the, it's the number of coaches that we have out on the floor. Every girl on the U.S. team was allowed to bring her a personal coach, and they have a credential, but only two coaches are allowed up on the podium at a time, and there's a zone where only a two coaches can be. We were having problems in the first event after the bars that too many coaches were out on the floor. Mike Jack, our executive director, was going back back and forth with our coaches, with the people at the uh, FIG table, trying to correct it. We didn't get a deduction, but we really have to watch it. When everyone gets so enthusiastic, you can see Bella. He'll be the first one, as he did in 1984, to jump over the barrier. But he's got to control it, or we'll get a deduction. Thank you, Wendy. Well, the USA cannot afford to give up a single tenth, a single hundredth here in this battle. Remember now, after two rotations, it's the unified team number one. It is the Romanians number two. This is Christina Bontosh that we are watching on the floor. And from the number three position, it's the USA. And in fourth, China. So the USA has got to fight hard on these last two apparatus in rotation number 